Yeah. I mean, I think it can be a tick box exercise because actually what you should be doing is, and, the, and, and I think part of the conversation at the moment we're struggling with is people often think that when minority communities or BAME, for lack of a better term, communities sort of say, we want a fairer opportunity. Often what some people hear is we want preferential treatment. When in fact, most people are just saying, we want a level playing field yeah. for you to be able to understand that we don't lack the ability, capability, drive and determination to succeed. What we're missing is the opportunities the chances for us to be able to actually pursue our dreams and goals. But crucially, understand that uh, a guy called Hashi Mohammed or Isa Mutlib is already fundamentally discriminated against by virtue of our names, for example. And if we were called John Smith, our CVs might be better received. By saying that and by sort of pointing that out, a lot of people see that as a threat and a lot of people sort of see that as somebody making special pleading when in reality all it is is saying look just think about the circumstances that you're dealing with and think about how everybody comes to the table with their issues and their differences and their uh, 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 um, and their qualities and i think that's the conversation that's going to have what we can't do and i think it's a difficult conversation to be had what we can't do is simply say well just hire any sort of any black guy any woman any asian guy just just so that we can look diverse because i think that will always end up badly that will always end up badly because it just means that that we're trying to aim for short-term solutions at the expense of real transformative long-term plans 